All right, today's El Jefe episode is on the Watkins Family Estate Chicken Wings, which is, or you can call it Watkins Family Classico. Anyways, we are going to prepare the chicken wings, which are right there. And what they have been, had a dry rub on them all last night. I gotta pick up my glasses to read it. Uh, New Orleans Cajun Seasoning Weber. Yeah, it kind of makes sense that people that make barbecues actually are pretty good at making spices too. So highly recommend that. You have the dry rub for 24 hours and then you do the wet rub. Now it seems that that would be um, something that would eh, wash the dry rub right off of there, but it doesn't. Anyways, especially if you've mixed it several times, which this has been over the past few days. And that's my fiance watching TikTok on her phone in the background. So, Frank's, especially Buffalo, hot Frank's, chick, that's the best stuff you can buy off the shelf. People put in like half a bottle, I don't. I put in a whole bottle. So, dumping it all out there. But, to tell you the truth, that's just sometimes not hot enough. So, get some of these. That right there, anything that says habanero on it, locally made. Um, habanero pepper sauce, Marie Sharps. Uh, I actually don't know if that's locally made or not. Pick it up at Seaside anyways. And just sprinkle it ever so liberally inside there. I've also tried this where we cut up habanero peppers and put them in there. Anyways, after you do that, we'll move this sauce out of the way. Do that, kind of seal up the packet, take all the air out of it. That's why I'm folding it over like this. And you can't see it because otherwise the phone will fall on its face. So back up to that. Then we go. And whoops, we might have found a leak. Anyways, we have found a leak and we'll double bag it. But shouldn't be a problem. Looking like it's doing okay right now. Now let that soak. Yeah. People say as little as a half an hour. Uh, I'd say as much as 24 hours. I definitely want several hours though. Matters if I'm in the mood for wings or not tonight. But ready to go, set aside. We'll pick it up on the cooking part next. This is El Jefe. All right, this is El Jefe. This is part two of the chicken wing um, episode. But we are gonna expand on the chicken wing episode because I was speaking with my neighbors, Brett and Trish over a very lovely uh, brunch they made for Jen and I this morning and uh, told Brett about my episodes and the one I was doing today and he threw down probably a two pound steak of yellowfin and said why don't you add this to the episode absolutely Brett that's what we're gonna do today so we'll have to start off with the chicken wings it's chicken wings and uh, tuna not really known as a great combination but one's the appetizer one's the main meal and I am starting on the chicken wings right now so it's been a 48 hour cycle, 24 on the dry rub, 24 on the uh, wet, basically marinate. And uh, you could tell they look pretty good. Showed you before what was in it. Now, if you tell, big green egg is at full throttle right now. I gotta bring that temperature down though. That's not, that's too high, but we will. We've already cranked down both uh, the air things. I won't keep repeating, you know, you have a top and a bottom. Uh, uh, vents that let in the air. Anyways, here we go. Open it up. Got a nice, uh, woo! Whoa, man. Got a nice red wine, little, uh, little basting pan there. As you know from previous El Jefe episodes, I always like to, um, basically have that below on the ceramic diaphragm that corrects it for, or results in indirect heat, but also it'll, it'll evaporate the red wine into the chicken wings in this case, and enough red wine where it'll evaporate later in a turkey or turkey tuna that I am currently having um, dry rubbed in Andy Slipka's Rock and Rub. Very popular uh, local barbecue maestro, Yoda's I called him in the past. So asked him for a good recipe. And we have that, little balsamic vinegar. Anyways, I'm jumping ahead. So 
wings ready to go. Put those there. There, and then we'll take the rest of what's in the pan there and use that as a baster for the next, should only take 90 minutes, but here you go. Anyways, El Jefe, uh, getting ready for part three chicken or part one tuna. All right, El Jefe back. Let's uh, check out how our chicken wings are coming. I think I'm uh, overcooking them, but we will see. Oh yes, I'm definitely overcooking them. So what we do here is we're gonna have to kill. Um, you know, we're gonna have to really shut down everything because it is too hot. So, but we also want to baste it, cool it down a little bit. The good thing about the green egg is that it is a ceramic piece of hardware, but when you open it up like this, then you let out all the heat and it needs to burn out again. A lot of times, I'm gonna take it and brush it on, but with this, just do this. And yep, this is the soaking sauce. And with the pan below, that's the good thing. The pan below just falls right into there. So you're not screwing up the, uh, oops, that was too much. You're not screwing up the charcoals. The heat, it remains consistent. Pet, pet it. What a stupid thing. You brush it and make sure that um, it is all nice and covered. And there we go. So uh, probably about another 20 minutes, those will be ready to go. And then we'll start with the tuna. So, um, yeah, and hopefully we'll be able to taste these here in, here in about the next half an hour after they cool down. This is El Jefe. I'll see you. Right, uh, right El Jefe wrapping up the wings here and getting ready for the tuna. Um, we'll see how we did. Uh, flip the camera over. Yeah, I need selfie stick or something, I know. So, yeah, a little bit... It's a little bit blackened, but not not terrible. So, and they look pretty, well, a little black on that one right there, but they look pretty good. So we'll see, Vivian will be the uh, true judge. Um, you know, what? my son Jake was always the true judge. If it like, if it was good to him, then you knew it was good. And then uh, when they used to make these on um, Indian Guides, the politically incorrect version of what is now Adventure Guides, uh, Kyle Snyder, who's about six foot five. I know you've lost weight, Kyle, so I'll try to be, but still well over 200 pounds. Um, and that guy used to eat my chicken wings by like the, are chickens in herds? I don't know. I think I had this question the other day. Anyways, he ate a lot of chicken wings. And uh, he would be the... He'd be somebody I asked if that was a good chicken wing. Anyways, they look good. Oh, they're beautiful. I uh, don't know if they're... Thank you, dear. I don't know if they're, that's the best I ever did. But they're they're good. Next up, it tuna. really quick. So the chicken's cooling down in there. And I'm now going to start on the tuna that my neighbor Brett gave me this morning that he caught on a trip recently I would think and it was freeze well not freeze dried but it was uh, it was basically on the trip they clean them on the boat eh, more detail than you want to know um, anyways here is the tuna yeah it's that big a steak so in the tuna and I've promoted this guy in the past let me see I get it rock the rub so it's a friend of mine andy slipka and he is uh he is the barbecue yoda maestro um i was thinking about a good analogy um basically he is a concert guitarist playing on the stage and i'm the dude coming up going can i jam with you i know three chords so that's kind of the difference between me and him Anyways, he recommended the Rock the Rub Spicy for the tuna, and a baste we'll get into later that uh, I didn't even think was supposed to be a baste, but Jen was, or a glaze, I'm sorry. See, I don't even know the difference. And um, anyways, right now, the things that I cut out of these videos now because they go too long-winded is like, you know, let's make sure we get these. And this is what I was talking about the other day, is you gotta kinda like, straight shot these down there but there's a lot of waste is they don't have something that lifts 
it falls down the crevices of it and eventually some of this wood chips which they need to have but also here and i'm getting off on a bunch of tangents apologize for that you put the big blocks in and that way you're absolutely sure that it'll smoke long term so you mix those in with the charcoal to start off with and they will smoke for a while anyways the little chips you just saw me put in is kind of like giving that little bit of extra pep anyways back to the tuna so the tuna is here let's see and since i'm trying to film with one hand and do this with the other i probably will end up dropping it on the floor which means winston will absolutely love it anyways i'm sorry tuna cooks fast so we'll put that there starting to smoke up from everything i dropped on there close that up and you know as i said low temps are important especially with tuna but it's 6 six thirty, and uh vivian's hungry and i don't know where the hell brett is he won't be a cook it he hasn't shown up he's probably still down at the saddle bar you know, doing shots of fireball or something i don't know anyways uh we will come back when we start to do the glaze on this tuna and as you can see from my little bit of pep the chips you put on there comes out start seeing smoking on the sides you know, this air vent is the most important one. Well, they're both important, but that one's pretty important. So we've got it open, not wide open, but open. Uh, so let's see it heat up, although it just did go above 300, so I'm gonna freaking down. Anyways, El Jefe back All with right, El Jefe, Bye. but this is a short one. Uh, this segment, just part of the tuna flip. Let's see how it's doing. So we're not gonna glaze it until, um, probably not for another half hour or so but we need to ah uh, there you go flip it there it goes that looks good but you could tell from the poke and let's try this with a more technical tool this is called el jefe's uh technical barbecue probe so nice switch blade or a stiletto as i should say and then you go oh no that's that's really still raw there here is a little cooked and it's tuna so raw is fine but um you, you want to make sure at least it's seared and, and i'm not really going for sear here i'm going for uh cooked it's going to still be red but um it's still gonna not, it's still gonna kind of look raw in the middle but it'll be cooked and uh with the seasoning on it the next part is the glaze so until that part, um, yeah, it'll be in about 30 minutes. So El Jefe signing out till El Jefe minutes. back here with you for a quick glaze because I'm hungry. I want to eat, but uh, we want to glaze this for like 20 minutes. And this is something I have to give my fiance credit for is that uh, I haven't done much in the way of barbecuing with glazing. Um, I caramelize it which is either through apple or cherry chips or something like that. But as far as a definite glaze, I have to give her credit. So she took Andy's recommendation and said, he's telling you to glaze it. Like, All right, that sounds good. And then uh, we took the avocado oil and the balsamic vinegar and a little bit of apricot preserves, uh, all of which Andy recommended. Thank you again. Uh, I have to give uh, Rock the Rub their credit where they're due because Andy is launching his business and um, if any influence I could have getting more sales means that uh, he's going to pay for a rounds of golf. So look at it that way. Anyways, we'll go for the glaze. So Jen mixed up the glaze here. Hmm. Oh, let's mix it up. Because I'm not that technical. Um, so somebody that was technical would probably like take a little bit. But no, that's not me. So let's just keep it half and half. So oop, keep enough of that. So now I've got enough for the second side. So, oh, there we go. There. So let's get the first side. Give that, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. The tuna cooks fast. And it's pretty much cooked all the way through right now. So that could be looked as El Jefe being a little lazy and not getting out here quick enough because he's enjoying his wine and watching a Hellboy movie marathon. But what it is, what it is. So 
we will cook this for a bit. You know what? Yeah, we'll cook it for a bit. Be back out in 10 minutes. And then we'll flip it over, do it again. That's ready to All go. Right. I'm ready to flip it. Anyways, you don't need an introduction every time I go from on camera to off camera. But anyways, so see the nice little glaze there? Oh, Jen was right. Ah, didn't say that in front of her, but she was right. And then we go, bang. And, ooh, you know what? This is called a little bit of, uh, and I put it in my cigar <laughs> ashtray. This is called something that I might try just to make sure we're on, uh, we're in the rice taste range. So dump the rest of the glaze with the apricots. There you go. And then I hope I'm getting this. You know, that's the problem with this cam the camera like that is that uh sometimes you think, find out that I'm shooting the steak when in actuality I'm shooting like my foot. So anyways, there you go. Another 10 minutes. Should be ready to go. And uh, we'll get, be back with the finished All product. Right, so we're taking it off now and gonna let it uh, sit. So this will be the big reveal and see how the tuna looks. And Brett, for your own information, I waited as long as I could, dude. You and Trish still aren't back yet. I don't know where the hell you are. I saved wings for you, which believe me, those turns out are some of the best wings El Jefe's ever made. Um, and I'm gonna go power them down as soon as I go back in. And I made your tuna, which is, and uh, I can't guarantee any of it, dude. I'm sorry, but uh, people are hungry and um, maybe I'll save you a little piece of tuna. But thank you again for the donation. So here we go. Don't know how much you could see because it's getting dark out. Oh, but it is perfectly glazed. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, it's gonna be tasty. And Brett is gonna be so pissed that he didn't get any of it. Hold on, watch this for a second. So we can go over here and we'll see and we'll yell at him. Brett! Brett! You guys are witnesses, okay? No one's coming out of there. No one's coming out of that house. Yeah. There he is. Okay, you're on my podcast show. You're lucky as shit, dude. My tuna is done. If you want any, you better come over. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming over now. All right. All right. So we gave him the opportunity. He is coming over. And uh, yeah, you seen the tuna? And this is the it for my podcast? Or I don't even know it's a podcast. It's like sound. Whatever they call these things these days. Basically my idea of having fun. And... Uh, a hobby that doesn't require much physical exertion outside of eating. Anyways, El Jefe out.